All right, so let's get into it, man. Let's talk about Snowfall, the finale, in my opinion, and how I feel about it, and why uh, I'm saddened by the show ending, period, and I'm saddened by the way the show ended. Um, after talking to several people, you know, on social media, after I had, I, I immediately last night during the episode, I tweeted out that it was whack, that I hated the ending. And um, after talking to a couple people about their perspective of how it ended, and, you know, it kind of opened my mind up a little bit to seeing both sides of the coin and understanding why there's some people that feel like it was a fire ending and it was a fitting ending to how things uh, wrapped up for six years, six seasons. And then I could see the other side of the coin for people like myself who just wouldn't want to see Franklin go out like that, was upset to see Franklin basically turn into his paw, um, how the show started, and, and be an alcoholic and a bum. Um, like I said, I can see both sides, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's the Gemini in me, but I can see both sides of how people um, feel. Um, one thing I will admit to that when I was watching it live, I didn't realize that when they walked past the movie scene part where they said they was filming a movie, I didn't realize that that was supposed to be Boys in the Hood that John Singleton was filming at the time. They was walking past that. That's what that was supposed to portray. That alleyway they was walking up was supposed to be where Ricky got shot. You know, Ricky! I didn't realize that when I was watching it. I didn't realize that till uh, like an hour after the show when I was on Twitter and saw somebody post it. And so I do agree that that part was extremely dope. Um, I think that's going to some kind of way play into what's supposed to be the spinoff with Gail Bean. I think that's her name. Um, uh, I will say this also. I really, really do love what happened for Leon. I love the fact that Leon was able to survive the show. And, you know, that he went to Ghana for them five years and got his mind right. Be able to come back home, open up uh, the little clinic or whatever he, that he said he was doing for the people. Because he really cared about his community. So I think that's extremely dope, um, what's going on with Leon. Now, with that being said, the reason I'm leaning towards being upset about how the show ended, I think it's just... It's a personal thing for me. Like, I got wrapped up into the show, and I really, really hated Louie. Like, I hated the things Louie was doing to undermine Franklin every time she did some shit. And, yes, I know in the end she ended up, you know, hiding from the feds, and she don't have no money. So, people are like, that's that's worse than being dead for her. I wanted her dead, man. I wanted Louie to take a bullet right between the eyes for all the shit she did. Because in my mind, the demise of Franklin begins with her way before Sissy did what she did. Which I would like to say also, I was not surprised at what Sissy did because Sissy and her husband, they came from that Black Panther movement. And they kept telling us over and over how Sissy did not care about the money. It wasn't about the money for her. It was about the CIA fucking over her family, especially killing her husband and all that shit. So I was not surprised by what Sissy did. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted Louis dead. <laughs> I wanted Louis dead, bruh. I wanted Louis dead, and I wanted Franklin. Maybe not Franklin to get his money, but I wanted Franklin to at least be able to ride off in the sunset where he could create his own little thing, or maybe go somewhere else and start over. Um, like, like not, not, I, I would have rather Franklin go to jail for life than for him to turn out to be just a failure. Now, I understand there are people that saying, well, how you expected this story to end? You know, there's never no winner in the drug game. You gonna, you either going to go to jail, get killed, or whatever. But this is a fictional story. You know, the writers control what's going to happen. This is a fictional story. And there's got to be a one out of a million chance for somebody to successfully walk away. I wanted him to be that one out of a million chance. Oh, I also want to say shout out to Oso. I think that was his name. The Mexican dude. I'm glad that he got away. And that um, he was down in Mexico teaching uh, wrestling and shit. And he got the call from his wife. And maybe he could link up with his wife and get his family back. And I think he walked away with a little bread. I'm happy for him. Um, but like I say, 
I wanted to see Franklin at least be able to set up in another city and start over or at least be at peace somewhere where he had a little bit of money. Um, I'm not shocked that Veronique left after he choked her out and shit and like her mom had already planted that seed of her leaving and getting away. Um, she kind of already hinted towards like the fact the type of woman her mama was is who she was. You know what I'm saying? Like she was a survivor. And she thinking about herself first. And not as a team. Not as a unit. And so that didn't shock me either. But I would have liked for Franklin to. to Like I say. Like maybe Franklin have like. I don't know a hundred K. And just be somewhere at peace. With itself. You know what I'm saying. And just move on with life. Then the just. The end the way it did for him to be a bum bro. Like. That shit killed me. Like just watching him. With the fucked up teeth, the blood, the blood, um, stained red eye and shit. And just be walking off into the sunset with a bottle in his hand. Just a failure, bro. I don't know. I think it just hit me because, like, that's, like, probably, to be honest, with some transparent, that's probably my biggest fear in life is to be a failure, like, a real fail. Like, niggas just look at me and be like, he has so much potential and he just a bum. So I, I don't know. I just don't like that seeing that for Franklin. Um, but overall, I love the show. Snowfall is definitely one for the culture. Um, just sad at how it ended, man.